okay so welcome back again guys so today we are going to see the um, classification of sections so how to classify a section mm, uh, if you are given with a eye section or angle section or mm, maybe the channel section how to classify the section so this video will be uh, covered in two parts so first part will be the concept part and the second part we'll be looking at will be the problem like how to classify the section using is 800 2007 that will be the second part and the first part is why actually we classify and uh, what is the classification of this section so see to determine the strength of a structural steel component designer need to consider two behaviors so whenever you are going to determine the strength of a steel component uh, for example you are designing a column or compression member or a uh, beam column then you need to consider uh, what kind of member so uh, to determine the strength you need to check two kinds of behavior first is the cross-sectional level behavior and the other is overall member behavior so that like if this is your eye section and um, let us say you are designing a column then this is somehow it's your column okay and so you need to check two things the cross-sectional features such as the uh, you should check the cross-sectional behavior that means the local behavior that how the flange behaves uh, sorry how the web behaves and how the flange behaves and the global one is like how if this goes and buckles like this or uh, the local is something like this does the flame web buckles or the the flange buckle something like that okay so there are two types of behaviors you need to check that is a cross-sectional behavior the local behavior and the second one is the global one so in is 800 2007 Cross sections are placed into four behavioral classes. So four different depending on the material yield strength, width to thickness ratio of components. Like uh, if this is your I section, then this is T F and B F. So the ratio of B F to T F. Then for the web T W is your thickness of the web and the H one is the height. So the ratio of h1 to tw these things depend so the ratios of this width to thickness then the loading arrangement how is the loading okay and what are the four classes four classes are plastic or you can say class one and then you have compact you can say class two semi-compact is like class three and slender is class four so now let us see what is plastic so plastic a section is the section which can actually develop a plastic hinges so uh, it can develop this section can develop a plastic section and it has a rotation capacity required for the structure to fail by plastic mechanism so in this case um, your plastic mechanism is forming so okay that means and the plastic thing your your uh, let us say this is your cross section so your it is attained it has attained both the or the compression flange or the extreme fiber has attained the yield strength and all the fibers all the fibers till the neutral axis have attained the uh, yield stress and it has plasticized completely and now it can form a plastic hinge and uh, plastic mechanism okay so it will fail by the plastic mechanism what is compact so compact compact section is it all it can also develop plastic moment resistance but have inadequate plastic hinge rotation capacity why so here if you see this section again has developed the plastic so the whole section is almost plasticized but there might be some 
local buckling which may affect your uh, plastic in rotation so uh, there might be a reason that okay because of the local buckling your plastic hinge mechanism may not happen so that is one is the compact section what is semi compact one this section is nothing but the cross section in which elastically calculated stress in extreme fiber can reach yield stress now here is your section so here the extreme fiber has already reached your extreme fiber stress is yield stress it has already reached the yield stress but but it can reach the yield stress but local buckling may occur and prevent the development of plastic moment resistance so here the section was plasticized but here the section is not completely plasticized yet it, the extreme fibers may reach the uh, yield stress but the section is not plasticized or a local buckling may occur and prevent the development of plastic moment resistance so your plastic moment resistance will not develop your plastic hinge will not form and plastic mechanism will not form so that's why it's called a semi compact and the slender uh, the fourth class is slender so this class is like local buckling will occur so here your section your section like the extreme fiber will not even reach the fy so this extreme fiber stress will be less than your yield stress and member will start buckling something uh, not like this but if you have a member like this it will start already start buckling so something like this okay so your yield stress has not been reached even the local buckling will occur even before the attainment of yield stress in one or more parts of the section that means not the whole section maybe the flange or maybe the uh, web something like that so that section is slender section and um, mind you my dear friends we never use slender sections uh, in compression members we never use the slender section for designing the compression member so let us look at this graph or the moment rotation curve uh, see this black line this black line this black line or the one which i am trying to highlight is the ideal behavior so this is bilinear curve okay this is your rotation and this is your moment so this bilinear curve is your ideal behavior now what actually happens is the curve goes something like this okay so so the uh, we can start from slender so see this is the moment uh, yield moment yield moment okay oh, yeah so this is your yield moment my and this moment you can see occurs at uh, some rotation when theta one has occurred so at theta one when your rotation is theta one the moment is m y so you come at the yield moment so this is your this is when your yield stress is achieved so your f is equal to f y condition occurs at this point so if you see the slender column here so the slender one will start buckling even before your yield stress has achieved so this is your yield condition and here it started buckling so that is slender one now your yield stress has occurred okay and then after some time so your yield strength has been developed and then due to some local buckling your member will fail that is semi compact even after that if some member regains uh, and then uh, gets plasticized this is the point where it starts plasticizing and sorry so yeah and after getting the plastic moment capacity developing the resistance but it fails due to some local buckling or something like that this is the compact one and when you go for 
when it actually goes till the end develops the complete plastic movement resistance and fails by plastic forming a plastic mechanism that is nothing but your plastic uh, what we say your plastic section okay so these are the figures where um, which i showed you earlier so majority of the hot roll sections which you see in your is uh, in your steel table those are the ones those mostly belong to plastic compact and semi-compact so that's why in your is code if you go we'll only find the three sections so uh, now the second part of the problem begins the part two so that was about the concept of classification of section now we can talk about the um, how to solve the problem how to classify a given section using your indian standard code 800 2007 so you need to go at your table 2 on page number 2018 and you will find this table the limiting width to thickness ratio so when you have a i section so you just have to check here so i have highlighted outstanding element of compression flange so this is for flange and if it is a roll section welded section you you need to take b by tf and if now these are the ranges actually so until 9.4 epsilon epsilon is nothing but root 250 upon fy it is given here so root 250 upon f and you know that f y will be 250 so this is 250 upon 250 this comes out to be 1 so you take epsilon almost equal to 1 so okay so whenever this ratio of b by tf comes somewhere less than <coughs> i'm sorry so if the ratio comes less than 9.4 epsilon then you say the section as plastic if it comes from 9.4 to 10.5 in between these then you say it is compact and if it comes from 10.5 to 15.7 then you call it as a semi-compact and if it goes beyond 15.7 then it is plastic section okay so this is how it works and uh, the flange will be plastic or slender uh, sorry the semi-compact or compact or plastic and i'm sorry here it should be slender okay and this is about the flange then we check about a uh, check for the web as well so for web you go here web of an i or h or box section and most of the uh, i sections in the reverse steel table they are they have the neutral axis as mid them so they are symmetrical i sections so here is d upon tw so this is your flange uh, sorry this is your web so this one is your tw and the d they want to say is this h1 because it's the height of your um, web okay so again same thing this is the range less than this it will be plastic then same compact then semi-compact and then slender this is for your this is for your uh, i section that's how you go for your i section and for channel sec angle sections what you do is here is the single angle double angle you just take the ratio of so this is your angle so this is let us suppose b this is let us suppose your d and this is the t so you just take b upon t d upon t and b plus d upon t these are the three ratios you need to check and there is no no cha angle section is plastic or compact they are always uh, semi-compact okay so yes and that's how you go now we will see some problems related to so we'll check some of the sections here so yeah and the b here the notations which they have used here so for example the b by tf here so the b by tf here so the, what is the b b is only this much so b 
here is b is equal to b of by 2 okay keep this in your mind so let us talk about the first example classify iswb 400 classify iswb 400 this section if you go to steel table you can find the uh, so first thing is you have to write the properties so d is your i will draw the section something like this okay so yes so you need to write d what is d is this d is equal to 400 mm b of is this b of is equal to 200 then your t of is this thickness 13 and t w is your thickness of it 8.6 and then h1 is this much that is 340.5 yeah now just go to uh, for flange you go here it is b upon tf so b upon tf that means bf by 2 upon tf is 7.6 and now it is less than 9.4 epsilon so 9.4 epsilon that means it is less than this value so it should be plastic okay yeah so that's why we write the flange is plastic and same for web h1 upon tw you go here for web web is given here d upon T, tw what is d it's given here see this d this d is nothing but h1 if you go and find in your steel table this value is written as the value called h1 so h1 upon tw 84 105 and 126 let's see what it comes out to be so when you do this you come 39.59 which is less than 84 epsilon so it's plastic so now both of your flanges and your web both are plastic okay this is plastic this is also plastic so complete section is plastic that's why the whole section is plastic both flange and web are plastic that's why uh, the whole section is plastic now next section we can try is ishb 400 here you do the same thing okay you have a i section web and flange so now your b upon tf so your bf is 250 250 by 2 this ratio comes out to be 9.84 which is greater than 9.4 and less than 10.5 so your if it's that means it is compact so your flanges become compact compact now let's check about uh, the web so web h upon tw it comes out to be 37.37 which is less than 84 so it's plastic so now your web is plastic so you have two things so which one is weak so compact is weak therefore the whole section so compact is going to fail first then plastic section so the whole section we call it as compact okay so the whole section when you have different uh, behavior in flanges and web you choose the the whole section will be vulnerable to failure whichever is lower so in uh, angle section it's very easy you just this is let's say b this is d and this is t now let's try to find b by d by t take three ratios and then compare that's it you're done so thank you for watching see you in next video thank you very much